In this video presented by VantiChic, we will delve into the top 5 predictions for Rolex in 2024. Rolex stands as one of the most iconic and luxurious watch brands globally, and its future appears promising. With a rich history of innovation and excellence, the company continues to heavily invest in research and development. It's widely recognized that this luxury brand is well positioned to uphold its status as a premier watch brand, emphasizing luxury, exclusivity, innovation, and sustainability in the coming years. The first prediction suggests the potential discontinuation of one of the steel GMT Master II models. Speculation, particularly regarding the GMT Master II Pepsi variant, has circulated for approximately three years. The basis for these rumors is the reported challenges associated with color fading on the ceramic bezel, particularly in the transition from blue and red to blue and black. The Pepsi model is highly favored among the GMT Master II models and is currently the most challenging to acquire in the market. It's presumed that Rolex has scaled back production in anticipation of a discontinuation in 2024. While wholesale prices have remained consistent compared to a year ago, from an external perspective, these watches are not as readily available as before. There has been a noticeable increase in wholesale prices, indicating growing scarcity. Another consideration is the potential discontinuation of the left-handed GMT model. This unconventional and unexpected Rolex variant, deviating from the norm, might not be in production for an extended period. This concept aligns with Rolex's past approach, such as with the limited two-year run of the Oyster Perpetual models featuring yellow, turquoise, and red accents, which were then unexpectedly discontinued. This would be unconventional since Rolex has historically consistently offered a GMT Master with a Pepsi bezel, starting from the very first GMT Master. The absence of a GMT model with a Pepsi bezel would represent a departure from tradition. Nevertheless, the prospect is intriguing, potentially serving as a refreshing update to the GMT line. Additionally, it would be interesting to observe how the prices of GMT watches might evolve if the Pepsi model were to be discontinued. There is a possibility that its value could significantly appreciate, reaching the $30,000 mark. Therefore, the best advice would be to consider acquiring a Pepsi GMT now while they're still readily available at their current prices. Seize the opportunity while it lasts. Let's move on to the second prediction. There's buzz about a new version of the Rolex Sea Dweller, specifically the reference 126600, making its debut. Initially launched in 2017 to mark the 50th anniversary of the Sea Dweller, this model gained acclaim for its aesthetics, notably the iconic red text. Rolex has a trend of keeping anniversary models in production for an extended time, but speculation suggests they might retire this reference and bring in a fresh approach. The reasoning is that the 126600 stands out in size, falling between the 40mm predecessors and the larger 44mm Deep Sea. This mid-size positioning is unconventional, and there's a possibility Rolex might go for a 42mm size, similar to the Yachtmaster 42. An intriguing possibility raised is a sea dweller entirely crafted from titanium, taking inspiration from Rolex's use of this material in the Deep Sea Challenge and the Yacht Master. The idea of a full titanium sea dweller is captivating, aligning with the appreciation for titanium models in the Rolex lineup, offering a departure from the gold options. This potential innovation has steered excitement and interest among Rolex enthusiasts. Now, let's delve into our third prediction. Enthusiasts are hopeful for the introduction of a fresh lineup, this time in a 40mm size, a relatively uncommon move for Rolex, known for similar strategies. In the previous year, Rolex unveiled stone dials in a 36mm size, boasting hues like green, turquoise, and the vibrant orange carnelian. These dials found appeal for women's timepieces and in some instances could be considered unisex. Notable figures like LeBron James showcased the turquoise style, sparking anticipation for Rolex to extend this concept into a 40mm size, introducing additional stone choices such as lapis lazuli, sodalite, ruby, bloodstone, or jasper dials. This venture provides Rolex with an opportunity to embrace creative risks, exploring a broader color palette. Unconventional pieces like these, catching the eye, often perform well in the secondary market. 
the 40mm size caters better to contemporary preferences, offering a more modern and fitting choice compared to the 36mm size. As for the fluted bezel on a Platinum Daydate release, it doesn't bring groundbreaking innovation. Considering the Daydate model's nature, there are limitations to reinventing it substantially, yet in the realm of reimagining traditional classics, Rolex exploring that territory again would be intriguing. Thus, there is potential for another unique addition within the Daydate line as evidenced by the puzzle piece design showcasing a willingness to deviate from the ordinary. Now, turning to our fourth prediction, let's shift our focus to the speculation surrounding the Rolex Milgauss. While the precise details of this forecast remain uncertain, there is a collective hope for Rolex to revisit the original design, featuring the honeycomb dial and a rotating bezel for the Milgauss. Many enthusiasts find this vintage combination particularly appealing, offering a departure from the more contemporary versions with a GV crystal, the distinctive blue lightning bolt hand, or the bold orange accents on the white or black dials. The classic honeycomb dial and rotating bezel bring a more traditional and timeless aesthetic, harmonizing well with the robust, utilitarian essence of the Milgauss, evoking a genuine tool watch feel. This revisited design concept sparks fascination, especially when compared to the earlier polished iterations. Moreover, there is a growing interest in expanding the Rolex lineup to include a white dial explorer, a welcomed addition for many enthusiasts. The widespread use of titanium is also a keen preference, recognized for its remarkable versatility, being lightweight, durable, highly scratch resistant, and corrosion resistant, titanium in many aspects outshines steel. Its hypoallergenic nature, often overlooked, addresses concerns of allergies that some individuals may still experience even with genuine Rolexes. Thus, incorporating titanium extensively is encouraged. Rolex has already embraced new materials like titanium and carbon fiber in some watches, hinting at the potential for wider integration in their future timepieces. As for the last prediction, picture this, a radical overhaul and modernization of Rolex's 190 lines, introduced just last year as an addition to the Cellini collection. Currently lacking the bold and daring presence expected from Rolex, the 190 line falls short, feeling overly formal and missing that distinctive Rolex essence. To make a mark in the competitive dress watch market, Rolex might need to rethink its strategy. Speculation suggests Rolex is considering just that. The 190 line seems like an outlier in the brand's lineup, almost an unconventional experiment. Removing the Rolex branding and substituting it with a label like JLC could potentially make it more fitting. However, given Rolex's legacy, enthusiasts anticipate a more audacious and distinctive approach to this venture. Renowned for its high-quality watches and limited production runs, Rolex is likely to continue focusing on luxury and exclusivity, aiming to uphold its status as a premier watch brand. These predictions encapsulate the anticipated evolution of Rolex. What are your thoughts? Any particular preferences for Rolex's future releases? Share your comments and opinions in the section below. And that's a wrap folks, thanks for hanging out with us at Vanti Chic. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. If you don't want to miss out on our future updates and exciting content, hit that subscribe button. We've got more videos lined up for you, so stay tuned for the next one. Until then, take care and see you in our next video.